South Africa's first black president is one of the most iconic figures of the 20th century. In 1993, he sat down with writer Rick Stengel to work on Long Walk to Freedom, a memoir that would become a global bestseller. Their taped conversations are now available to listen to for the very first time on the podcast Mandela, The Lost Tapes. Take a listen to Nelson Mandela recounting how he successfully dodged security for nearly a year and a half, only to then be caught with a gun. Now I had a revolver which was unlicensed and I just took it out and put it in between the seats. Mm. And uh, at one time, I thought I could open the door fast and roll down, but I didn't know how long, you know, this bank was mm. and what was there. Joining us now is Rick Stengel, who wrote and narrates the podcast and also worked for the Obama administration as an editor for Time magazine. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Stengel. Great to be here. So what a fascinating look at, at the life of Nelson Mandela. How were these tapes lost? Well, Lindsay, they were never really yeah. lost. They okay. were in my basement for about 20 years. And then in 2010, the Mandela Foundation asked me to donate the tapes to the foundation. Technically, Mandela owns them and the foundation owns them. But, but people really didn't listen to them. You had to actually go to the, net, to the foundation to physically ask for the tapes and listen to them. And why did you decide that this was the right time to release them? Well, this coming year is the 10th anniversary of his death. Um, I had really sort of forgotten about it. I do think, as you mentioned, he's a global icon of democracy. Democracy is under threat around the globe. Hearing Nelson Mandela's voice championing dem democracy is something that's really important, I think, to the world right now. Talk to us about just how pivotal these conversations were and, and what you learned about Nelson Mandela. Well, I was working with him on his autobiography, so the conversations were the kinds of conversations where I, I need to know facts about him, what happened when you were a young man, what happened when you went to boarding school, what happened when you were in prison. So they're very kind of literal questions, but because it was 1993 and it was done on an old-fashioned cassette tape recorder, you hear him saying, Richard, will you have some sugar in your tea? Why don't you have sugar in your tea? He spells out names and words for me over and over. You hear him laugh and us joke. So that's what's special about it, because the intimacy of that room was just for two people for 30 years, and now anybody in the world can be in that room with the two of us. And you just mentioned that. I think we actually have that particular clip, because so many people know Nelson Mandela as a fighter, but he really was quite funny. I want to talk about it or listen to that clip, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. And, uh, uh, Christmas Tinto, C-H-R-I, the old Merry Christmas, Harry. H-A-R-R-Y. Onion, tomato, spinach, strawberries, broccoli. <laughs> what do you think that people are going to maybe be surprised by after, after listening to these tapes? I think, I don't know if they'd be surprised by it, but you hear how gracious he is, mm -hmm. what a gentleman he is. He's a, he's a Victorian, really. I mean, he was born in 1918 in a remote area of South Africa. And I think people will see once again that, in fact, there isn't, there isn't that much difference between the man and the mask. He really was who he seemed to be. So I don't take him off the pedestal. He's still on the pedestal. What was it about him? I mean, most of us haven't never got to have the, the intimate space and time with him that, as you did. We just know, as you say, kind of the man on the pedestal. Kind of take us inside and, and pull back the curtain to what you think it was about him that made him sacrifice so much, so much more than the typical person would have in the name of democracy. Yes. I mean, one thing that people don't really know about him is he's African royalty. He's the son of a chief. He was raised by the king, king of the Tembu people, which was his area of the trans sky. So he had this very privileged upbringing, went to British boarding schools in Africa. But when he went to Johannesburg as a young man and encountered apartheid and white supremacy directed towards him and everybody of color, it changed him. It, it fundamentally made him realize that all of those values that he'd learned about as a young man, you know, British fair play, et cetera, were, was just a myth. And it turned him, it made him into a revolutionary. Spending the time with him that you did, did it have an influence on you? <laughs> well, having to think like Nelson Mandela is a very good thing. He's, he's mature, he's self-controlled. Um, it changed my life. I met my wife there. My wife is South African. My two kids have 
South African names and have spent, you know, many, many months there. So, uh, yes, it changed my life for the better. And by the way, you know, any bit of Nelson Mandela will change your life for the better. Uh, people might assume that they know all that they need to know or can know about Nelson Mandela. What will they learn from actually hearing these tapes? He has a very strong filter. At that time, he was beginning to run for president of South Africa. He's a great politician, but like any politician, he doesn't want things to come out that he thinks his voters don't like. And he, that's what he said to me. He said, you know, our people don't like that. I don't want to talk about it. So you'll see a practical side of him. You'll see the idealistic side of him, and you'll just see how tough and strong he is. Rick Stengel, we thank you so much for joining us in studio here. We want our viewers to know that Mandela, The Lost Tapes is now available on Audible. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.